Welcome to Healthy Planet, everyone, the show for people who care about their health and the health of the planet on ThinkTech live streaming network series. I'm your host, Dr. Grace O'Neill. Joining me today in the studio are Liza and Dennis from Duen of Seven Vegans Hawaii. Today, we're going to talk about how they are raising their family vegan. So let's get into it. Um, how did you guys become vegan? How long have you been vegan for? Um, we started off being, well, I was vegetarian before I met Dennis. Mm -hmm. So, and then, I don't know, we just decided, that, it just hit us one day, like, oh, mm -hmm. why, why are we eating animals? It's not good for us and whatnot. And the, it was more for the animals than our health. Yeah. We felt bad for the animals. But growing up, that's all we saw because we're Filipino. Mm -hmm. It was something different. So we got a lot of backlash. Oh, but I'm sure. When we, when we had kids, that's when everyone's like, okay, are you going to continue with this so-called phase of your guys, you know? <laughs> like, but we continued with it. I know how we started. Time. I know how we started. Yeah. <laughs> well, he <laughs> knows the whole story, maybe. <laughs> Better than I do. <laughs> go ahead, Dennis. You go for it, then. You go well, for um, it. Well, we, we went vegetarian first, right? Um, mm -hmm. I, I think it hit me especially first when uh, we had a dog, right? We bought yeah, we had a puppy, and mm -hmm. you know we we would take our dog you know, like, everywhere. You know, this is when it was you know we were in the mainland, and we would take our dog everywhere, right? We would go outside cafes to eat, and we would just have our dog with us. And it was just weird because it's like, okay, we have an animal, but we're eating animals. So that's where it kind of hit me, like, oh, oh wow, you know, like this kind of weird, you know, like I have a pet, you know, that we love and we take care of, and we're eating animals. You know, so like that was kind of weird. So I think that's when we started to become, you know, the vegetarian. And then as you start to have a family and grow, then we start to explore, you know, the, um, being a vegan. And by the time we had our third child, uh, that was when we went full vegan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so your third child and afterward, because uh, you have five kids, right? They yes. were all raised vegan from birth then? Um, our, yes, yeah. our, um, first two were raised, you know, the vegetarian. And then, yeah, when we had our third kid. Yeah, our third kid I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that's when we went, <laughs> that's when we actually started to, lost track. So, <laughs> that's when we started to explore, you know, to raise our kids kind of being vegan because, you know, we just like, Hey, you know, Let's try to go full vegan, and you know that's where we started. You know, like changing our foods, you know, completely. Meaning, like, no dairy at all, no butter, no cheese, and yeah, that was, yeah, that was quite a long time ago. You know? How many years has it been? Uh, about almost ten years. Oh, great! That's wonderful. Yeah. So, so how about the kids? Like the kids that were vegetarian, uh, were they vegetarian? The older kids were they vegetarian from birth, or were they? Yes. Raised, yes. They were vegetarian from birth. So yes. Yeah. Do they ever wonder what it's like to eat an animal? Do they ever ask to try? Or. Oh no no no! They they have never asked to try. Like definitely had they have never asked. You know we <laughs> we you know we always you know like show them you know like. Each time you eat, you know, the meat, this is what we do to the animal where, you know, they're actually getting killed. They're taking away the milk of a calf mm -hmm. and so forth. So they, so, you know, they're, you know, our kids are very compassionate about it. You know, they understand, you know, we don't shelter it from them at all about how, you know, like the animal cruelty is, you know, we just show them how it is and, and their kids themselves. So, you know, so now, you know, they're, I mean, you know, sometimes we joke with them, right? When they get in trouble from us, you know, we're going to give you this, you know, animal product. And they're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, but yeah, they're, yeah, our, our kids are very compassionate about it. You know, they, you understand, you know, you know, like what it is if you eat an animal or have animal byproducts, you know. Mm -hmm. And we volunteered the Al Aloha Sanctuary as well. So they see the animals there. Yeah. Do you have some pictures from that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what number slide is or is uh, Eric? <laughs> it's in the beginning. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Dennis. He's giving giving her um adjustment. 
Uh huh. Oh wow! You give adjustments to animals too? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. How often do you go to volunteer? Well, it's been a while mm -hmm. since this whole you know COVID thing. But we went. Yeah. yeah. But we went a few times. Uh, when was it? When, October. When was it? Mm -hmm. October. For the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. How long has it been that you guys have been going to the Aloha Animal Sanctuary? Since it opened up, we were one of the first ones that helped open it up. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's yeah. great. That's a great experience for the kids. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's totally like volunteer and mm -hmm. everything. Run. Yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful. So how about at school? What do the kids eat at school? Do you pack their lunches? What kind of... Do they have anything available in the cafeteria at school for the kids? Well, Sadly, they de no. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, no. We have to um, meal prep. So our meal prep is basically like cooking all their meals every day oh, and packing it up for them. Yeah. It must take hours. Yeah. I mean, five kids. Um, well, I mean, it, it helps to plan ahead, you know, to know what we're going to make for them. You know, like or, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or we give them like a heads up hey you know we're gonna have pasta for lunch yeah and croissants in the morning so we kind of just plan it you mm -hmm. know so that way there's no like okay now we're at five o'clock in the morning what are we gonna feed them you know yeah yeah, yeah. Well, so you, you know have... they so yeah we um you know let's make sure that they have food for them and snacks for them as well mm -hmm. that way they don't feel like left out you know, like, you know, like we bake them cookies or brownies. Wow. You know, They're lucky kids. I have chips here and there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we try to make it work. What kind of dishes, I mean, besides, you know, the desserts, like what kind of stuff would they bring, say, for lunch today or yesterday? You know, what kind of things do they commonly, do you have like a rotating schedule of the things that you have them eat or what, what are common things that you you know, just so people who might be wanting to, uh, you know, we do like today we had spaghetti. What is that? We had, sp yeah. we had spaghetti yeah, we had, today. Oh, nice. Yeah, we had nice. spaghetti today. for lunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we do the spam musubis. What else? We we burgers, that? nuggets. Oh, nice. Yeah. So yeah. Kind of like kid food. Kid yeah, food. yeah, yeah. Kid food, yeah. Veggies yeah. in disguise kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Is yeah. that how your business started from feeding your kids? So you decided to start yes, a business? Yeah. Exactly. Because it was so hard to like feed all of us. And we want, didn't want the kids to feel left out. So we just basically like veganized a lot of the foods that we couldn't eat that wasn't really readily available. Right, Dennis? Yeah. <laughs> So um, yeah. you have some pictures, right, of some of the food that you guys make? Yes. There you go. Well, what's this one? What's this one? It's it's like the koali and the furikake um, salmon. Nice. Mm, yeah. What do you make the salmon from? I'm curious. Tofu. <laughs> tofu. It looks realistic, yeah, right? It's it does. It does. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, we used to like eating salmon before, mm -hmm. you know, we went completely vegan okay. and vegetarian so mm -hmm. yeah so we'd always have something like that yeah yeah but that one is that shrimp it's like that was inspired by giovanni and all the mm -hmm. shrimp trucks here since yeah. so that's <laughs> the um garlic garlic shrimp yeah garlic shrimp oh nice and did you make be... that shrimp yourself, or where did you get this shrimp? A vegco. Veg oh yeah, yeah nice. Yeah, 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 yeah vegco. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so yeah, like there's a lot of food that's available. Mm -hmm. You know, to it's make so whatever you kind of like, yeah. you know, like in the past, um, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Dennis, you're a chiropractor, correct? Yes. So, do you incorporate your you know, plant-based philosophy, you know, into your practice at all? Yeah, I try to, um, I actually do. I actually, do, you know, they mention it, you know, people, because like a lot of people who come to my office, 
they do tend to have joint pains. And when they have, and when they have joint pain, you know, um, eating meat products does accelerate joint pains, you know, mm-hmm. like gout, you know, like arthritis. Ooh, so yeah. I so I can, you know, if if if, if you want the pain to go faster or way faster, try to minimize your, you know, animal intake or eat less meat. So I don't eat. So I don't try to like push on them, but I try to kind of like make them think about it that, okay, if you eat animal products, your joint mm-hmm. pains will become less. Yeah. And that should help out the adjustment hold or last longer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they try to let you know, understand it and, you know, look at the muscle and say, oh, yeah, I eat less pain now. And my, and my body feels a whole lot better. You know, I feel lighter. I have less knee pain. So, uh, you know, mm-hmm. you know, that way, you know, I kind of really introduce. You know, the other side of not just eating just animals, especially you know, again in the Filipino culture, mm-hmm. everything is yeah. made with meat. <laughs> yeah, I and, know. and and yeah. you tend to forget about the vegetables. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. Even though like Filipino foods have a lot of vegetables, there's also like a very big step to it. Yeah. Yeah, like lechon, like like so, yeah. Know, lechon. Yeah. 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 So how when you tell patients about that? Is there some kind of resistance from them? Do you find they're resistant to it? Do you um, they it it it, it kind of depends, I guess. Um, it's more of the age. Like younger people kind of tend to be more like doubtful or yeah, like resistant. And then they'll they'll like think about it, and then uh, they'll they'll they might come back and say, oh yeah, you know, I've been doing that more. Uh, I've kind of taken your advice. But the older people, they're actually more um, open to it, I guess. Oh, really? That's yeah, problem. from my experience. Yeah. Yeah, from my experience. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, I don't try to push on them, but I yeah. kind of just kind of mention it. And I tell them, hey, yeah. if you want the adjustments to hold longer and last longer, eat less ammo you know, products. That yeah. way it's better for your body and in the long run, you know. Yeah, because like I don't want to tell them, hey, if you keep eating meat, you're gonna get a heart attack. You know, I don't want to scare yeah, them like yeah. that. You know, I want to yeah, just be, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I kind of want to slowly introduce it, and then when they want to talk more about it, then, come you back. know, I'll, yeah, yeah, they will come back and I'll start to talk more about, uh, okay, you know, okay, yeah, that's the way you can do this and that. So, mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I don't try to push it like heavy. You know. Yeah, I think um, I you know, why don't you tell everybody where you're located and where. Um, Liza also runs the pop up from Seven Vegans Hawaii. Mm-hmm. That way, people know. Yeah. Well, my practice is in IAL and IA Heights Drive. Um, you know, there's a IA medical building. That's where I practice. And I've been there for about since 2008. I've been practicing for a while there in the same building. And yeah, I've, been, I've, I've seen like a lot of patients come by, come off this. Um, and uh, Liza, why don't you talk about the pop-ups that you do and um, you know how they can find you on Instagram and everything. Our um, pop-ups are basically out of our chiropractic office as well. Um, you can find us on Instagram. It's seven, seven vegans underscore high. And I normally um, post our pop-ups like two days to two, three days in advance. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, I, I love the way, I mean, she, she's so flexible. I'll tell you that, um, you know, because I'm gluten-free and vegan mm-hmm. too. So um, it's great. You know, um, I really like the, she makes little, they're kind of like fried chicken from, um, what did you make them from again? They were from the fried chicken. Oh, banana blossoms. That's banana right. Banana blossoms, yes. Yeah. And they were delicious. Yeah. So I highly recommend that. Okay. <laughs> it's really hard to find something like that group to so once in a while when I want to it's really nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we try our also, best. I'll say the tiramisu is very, very good, though I don't think it's uh, gluten-free, but it's very good. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can make that gluten-free also. Oh, you can? Oh, okay. Maybe yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah just really change good. the flour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. very good. Um, and Thank she also you. does cake and everything, too. Yeah, we do all our cakes. Our cakes could be made gluten free as well. Yeah, and she does ice cream cakes, which is great because I mean, I haven't had an ice cream cake. You know, I hadn't had one. I ordered one from her. I hadn't had one since 
I was a kid and we went to Carvel. I just remember those memories. But obviously, I don't want to have ice cream again. It gives me massive diarrhea because I'm lactose intolerant. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be eating that anymore. But right. it's good to have another option, you know. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I did want to ask, I think a lot of people, I, I'm wondering if you ever get flack for raising your kids vegan from the community, like, how could you do that, you know, or people saying like, you know, the kids, you know, aren't getting good nutrition or something like that. I mean, they're obviously misinformed yeah. people, but yeah. how do you respond to something like that? Um, we used to get flack for it, but not anymore. Mm -hmm. or, or maybe I just choose to ignore what people say. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, um, yeah, I think we get flack from our like our parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, we just I was the worst one. Yeah, was no, we parents. just raised our kids vegan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Terrible. But you know, yeah, but they don't give us flack anymore. Anymore, because so, yeah. they see that they're healthy and they're thriving and they're smart. They're excelling in school and all their activities. And they hardly get sick compared to yeah. other um, mm -hmm. non-vegan kids. Yeah, I mean, yeah. how are they compared to like their cousins and everything? Um, I don't know, cause um, they don't get sick as much. Well, I mean, from what I understand or know, that school. they don't get as sick as they do. Their cousins, yeah. yeah, 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 and the kids in yeah. school probably too, you know. Yeah. How about the kids in school? I mean, what do they? How do they react to your kids being vegan? Like, what do your kids say? The other kids, yeah. they actually don't get any, um, they don't get yeah. teased or anything. They're very open to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're lucky, the teachers and all the staff members, they're yeah. very open to and, it. They, yeah, they ask us if they have snacks for them. They ask us beforehand, yeah. like, oh, could they have this? But there's a lot of, like, accidental commercial brands, too. Yeah. They ask us, like, oh, could they have this? Or I'm going to go get them something at Down to Earth for them. So they're very accommodating. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. For our kids, I think it's not a problem for them. So mm -hmm. like, they're not being bullied like about their dietary habits at all. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, and sometimes you know we actually give like their classmates snacks or cookies or cupcakes, and and uh, they actually like it. Of they course really they do. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Of course. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they 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 can't even tell that it is or not. Yeah, you know? no, of course mm -hmm. not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, great. So. I mean, I think I wish more people would be willing to you know, mm. bring their children be. And I think yeah. it's really cool that you're doing that. Yeah. Really yeah. special. Especially five children, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you both grow up here in Hawaii? I did. Mm -hmm. I did. I I did not. I grew up mm -hmm. in California. Oh, okay. How did you guys meet? Dennis, <laughs> let's see if he knows the story. <laughs> yeah, apparently he knew how we turned vegan, so let's see how, if he knows our, how we met story. <laughs> uh, that's your story. <laughs> no, see, we're waiting. <laughs> Go ahead, Dennis. Maybe for another day. <laughs> another day. Long story, long story. Long story. Okay, make it short, Dennis. <laughs> um, well, we uh, met a long time ago because um, um, our parents, like, they uh, know each other, they're friends. So when I was uh, here, I was going to college. Um, they, they came to Hawaii for a visit with her, with her whole family. <laughs> and uh, we met and, yeah, yeah, we uh, met, like, a long time ago when our parents introduced <laughs> us to each other. And, yeah, I guess the rest is history. <laughs> the rest, yeah. <laughs> I guess he got partial. <laughs> <laughs> Our moms went to high school together back in the oh, Philippines. Oh, that's cool. And they had a class reunion in 1997. Mm -hmm. So we have, so they reunited. They were, they didn't keep in touch. They only reunited back when it was 1997. Mm -hmm. After they graduated from high school, which is. I don't know when, what year he graduated, <laughs> but they met again in 1997. Mm -hmm. So my family and I, we came here for vacation and his family's from here. So they said, oh, they met up 
you know, friends want, oh, let's reunite and whatnot. Oh, I have a daughter. I have a son. Let's try to put them together. What? <laughs> <laughs> so at first, we were just like being snobby towards each other and whatnot. So they're like, oh, too bad. It didn't work out. So, but secretly, we we're writing to each other and calling each other behind their back. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked out that's cool that's wonderful yeah. so you're kind of set up in a way um you call that <laughs> kind of but no i mean like it wasn't pushed or anything yeah they, yeah. they didn't think it was going to work out it wasn't yeah yeah okay. and we didn't grow up knowing each other so yeah so, yeah, yeah i've yeah. never heard of her until i met her uh -huh. first time exactly. did you how'd you make the long distance work um letter writing old yeah. school pen pals letter writing nice um time calls because only back then we only had land landline oh no <laughs> so i'll be like i'll call you on friday at this time <laughs> that's awesome yeah and on top of that you actually had to adjust your hours so if yeah, i say two o'clock here it's maybe <laughs> five or four o'clock there yes. yeah <laughs> So it's not like a cell phone nowadays, like, okay, I'm gonna call you now or text you now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Liza, when did you move to Hawaii then? Like how, how did you finally decide you're gonna make a move and everything? Um, our oldest actually, when she was one years old, we decided to move here to um start his chiropractic office. Oh okay. practice. Yeah. Yeah. So did you were you, was Den uh, Dennis living in California then? Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, got, oh yes. Then. Sorry. Oh, okay. He went to California after, like yeah. shortly after we met to um, uh -huh. pursue his college career. Yeah. 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 He went to college and chiropractic school in California where I was. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we after he graduated from chiropractic school, we got married like that same year. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, a few months later. Mm -hmm. We got married and then we had our daughter a year later. And a year later, we decided to move to Hawaii. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> so did you, uh, when you, you work in Dennis's office, is that correct, Liza? And also do the business as well? Yes. Yeah. And then... well, I went to school for um, respiratory therapy. And... Oh, you did? Yes. So I yeah. have a degree in that, but um, we decided that it's best that I take a break from that to raise, help, raise, you know, be mm -hmm. there for the kids. Yeah, yeah. Especially five kids. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <A lot. laughs> when, when you um, when you grew up in, uh, did you grow up in LA or where exactly? Did you um, Bay Area, the San Francisco oh, okay. side, okay. Northern California. Mm -hmm. What are your favorite vegan restaurants there? Just a random question. There weren't many when we were there, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess there was yeah. none. That's what there was. You know, more like yeah, vegan options. Serious. But we went to Trader Joe's a lot, mm -hmm. you know, for sure, because they were kind of starting to open up more options yeah. for the vegans. Oh, there were no yeah. vegan restaurants yeah. back then. Yeah. Oh, wow. But, yeah. I mean, things have really changed. Even here. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's definitely. so many possibilities. There's, and there's, yeah. you know, these pop ups. Like you guys have a pop up, and yeah. there's so many others too on the island. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, it wasn't definitely. like this back then. <laughs> yeah. No. I know. So back I mean, it's, just, just, it's so easy yeah. being vegan now. I feel, I feel like it's so it easy. is. It is. I mean, <laughs> like back then, like when we first started, you know, we we had our tofu's and okay, how we work with this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but now you know, there's so much options for tofu's now. You know, mm -hmm. Make it taste good. So, yeah, I know. Right? Easy that with the kids. You, were you swayed to become vegan by Eliza or kind of, or not really? Um, no, definitely not because okay, when 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 I did meet her, she was You're so mean. <laughs> yeah, so when I did meet her, she of course I wasn't you know vegan nor vegetarian, but she was vegetarian, and I just was, I don't know, I just was like um, turned off by it, I guess. Mm. You know, so um, but strange, yeah, but. But years later, you know, after, you know, when I was graduating chiropractic school, I started to understand more about health and mm -hmm. its benefits and how eating good is, is actually better for your body. And yeah. so that's where the journey kind of started, you know. That's wonderful. But, yeah. How inspiring. Yeah. Um, that's okay, 
I was um, the type to make fun of vegans or vegetarians. He was mean. <laughs> I was a, yeah, I was actually that type. Oh wow. And, what is this and, and, <laughs> and you know, um, you know, I regret you know doing that, but mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> I'm vegan myself now. Yeah. <laughs> Almost 10 years. Yeah. But... <laughs> Um, okay, well, thank you guys so much. We're uh, out of time and we'll have to wrap it up. Thank you. Uh, so, um, I'm Dr. Grace O'Neill. This is Healthy Planet on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We've been talking with Liza and Dennis Ronduin of Seven Vegans Hawaii about raising their family vegan. Thanks to all of you for being here. Thanks to Eric, our broadcast engineer, and the rest of the crew at Think Tech for hosting our show. And thanks to you, our listeners, for listening. I'll see you on February 3rd for more of Healthy Planet on Think Tech, the show for people who care about their health and the health of our planet. Our next show features guest Dr. Ruth Heidrich, author of A Race for Life, marathoner, triathlete, well known for her appearance in Forks Over Knives. If you have ideas for the show, please contact me at healthyplanetthinktech at gmail.com. Check out my website at graceinhawaii.com for more information on my projects, including future show guests. I'm Dr. Grace O'Neill. Aloha, everyone.